Product management didn't exist. Like it wasn't a discipline. The thing is that there isn't one right way to product manage. And in fact, when you're building a product team, you want to deliberately get people who think in different ways, approach problems in different ways. Because what you're looking for is you want to get as many ideas as possible. That's going to maximize and perspectives. That's really going to maximize the chances that what you choose are your best investments. I think that product management has really evolved, and especially in the last few years, based on the insight, surprise, that when you build software products, you actually have to have a group of people focused on the people who are going to be using the products, and not just based on the software, the technology that we're building. A trend that I'm seeing in product design that I do like is that more and more people are becoming aware of inclusive design, and it's becoming less of a shamey, cringy, I have bias, you have bias, but we can't talk about it kind of thing, and more about, yeah, we have, we both, we all have biases, but we can create the awareness needed to actually solve things in a more inclusive way. And so the fact that this is finally becoming um, a priority for companies, I think is wonderful. You need to learn how to operate a business and deliver output from the machine of the business. Product is a mindset and it doesn't need to be restricted just to these narrow areas. It doesn't need to be restricted just to new products that we're going to build or how to acquire customers effectively. Actually, it can be applied everywhere and anywhere. An organization understands that the product fundamentally can be this incredible engine for growth. And I would say a company like Netflix or Apple or Amazon or Microsoft, they are product forward companies.